Hello everyone, today is Wednesday. It is not really Wednesday, this is really Saturday, but you'll be seeing this on Wednesday, so spoilers. But it's Wednesday, and Wednesday means Top 5 Wednesday time. Top 5 Wednesday was created by Ginger Reads Laney, and I will link her channel down below, as well as a Goodreads group where you can find all of the topics in case you want to join in, because you should. Today's topic is the Top 5 Books that you weren't expecting to like, but you did. So this list as usual, was a little bit hard for me to kind of figure out what five those were because, not because I had a lot, but actually I had a hard time finding five because most of the time I'm pretty excited about the books that I am reading or I'm going to read, so I was able to figure it out though. I, I was able to do it, guys. So, number one book that I was not expecting to like but did was Divergent by Veronica Roth. I just wasn't, at the time that I read it, my friend Amy got me to read it. I hadn't heard of it. I think only the first two were out at this point. And I'm not really, I hadn't, I hadn't really read Dystopian at that point, and so I really didn't know much about it. I don't know if I'd like Dystopian. It wasn't my typical genre because, as I'm sure you guys are aware of by now, fantasy and classics are my typical genres, particularly fantasy, but I decided to read it, and I quite enjoyed it. And it remains really the only book in the series that I really liked. I didn't really much care for the other two, but, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna go with it. The second book is Cinder by Marissa Meyer. Again, this one was because it was outside of my normal genre book that I read. I don't read a lot of futuristic sci-fi-y dystopian-ish stuff. I don't know what you classify this as, I guess sci-fi. And I had heard a lot of good things about it on booktube, and so I decided to check it out. I'm like, you know what, I need to broaden my little literary horizon a little bit here, so I should just try it out. And I was pleasantly surprised. I enjoyed this book. I enjoyed Scarlet a lot more, and I don't know about Cress because I have yet to read Cress. Oops. But that's book number two. Book number three was the Percy Jackson series and The Lightning Thief in particular by Rick Riordan. I had been putting off reading this series for a very long time. When it first came out, I was still pretty young, and I was so into Harry Potter, and I just could not let anything come between me and Harry Potter. And a lot of people kept calling this, like, the next Harry Potter series, and I was like, no, no, nothing can be. I was young, you know, as you do. But I was, I just read this one, I started reading the series in August, finished it in September, and I really, really enjoyed it. These books are hilarious. I can't believe, I should have read them a lot sooner than I did because these books are awesome, they were fantastic, and I heartily enjoyed them. Book number four was The Girl of Fire and Thorns by Ray Carson. I had a feeling that I might like it, but I don't know. For When I read the synopsis of this book, it just didn't really seem like something that would catch my interest, and I wasn't really sure if it was something I was going to like. It was fantasy, but it didn't really seem to be the type of fantasy that I would find interesting. But I I heard some people say that it was really, really good, and I don't read a lot of young adult fantasy. I think that was one of the reasons why it was kind of putting me off. I have I read several young adult fantasy series this year, but typically it's more of an adult fantasy that I read, but I decided to give it a shot, and boy was I glad, because this is probably one of my favorite books of this year. So, so, so good. I really need to get to the other two books in the series, so hopefully that will happen this month. Bo, it's... At the time of filming, it's the 11th, and I still haven't finished my first book, so... Oops. And the last book might come as a surprise to some of you if you watch my videos regularly, but that book is... Theft of Swords by Michael J. Sullivan. That's right, I had reservations about this book. This book series before I... Whoa. I really should probably put down my coffee mug before attempting something like that. I don't know what my reservations were necessarily. I think that I was afraid I wasn't going to... I, th I think that I thought it was going to be a very stereotypical fantasy book, if you know what I mean. Like something that's just a regurgitation of a bunch of other fantasy stories that I've read before. And at the time that I picked it up, it wasn't too wildly read. Like it didn't have that many ratings on Amazon, but... I decided to check it out because of the ratings that were on Amazon, they were good. So even though the synopsis seemed like your typical fantasy book, which I was looking for something a little bit different, I decided to read it anyway, and oh my gosh, I am so glad I did because... <sighs> I love this book, and I love the right area revelations. They're just so good. I mean, I know, I'm sure you guys are like, really, Sam, Theft of Swords again. Yes, again. It just has something fresh and new to it that I wasn't expecting and that I really, really enjoyed. So I'm glad that I decided to give it a go because if I hadn't, I would never have discovered this wonderful series. So there you go. 
Alright guys, those were the five books that I chose for this week's Top 5 Wednesday. Let me know down in the comments what your five books would be. If you've read any of these, what you have to say about them. You know, just the usual. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please thumbs up and subscribe. And thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, happy reading, and bye! I have in my hands the first eggnog latte of this season. I love eggnog lattes, and I love eggnog, so this makes me so happy. It's Christmas in a cup, people. I know it's October, but I'm a huge fan of Christmas, and this right here is Christmas in a cup. Oh, Ambrosia. Hi guys, it's Samantha and I am back today with another Facts on Authors video. This week we are going to be discussing the wonderful Ella Montgomery, who is the author of the Anna Green Gables books. 